Hello campers, Neil from African Campsite Reviews bringing you another review of a Sandparks Park this time the Storms River campsite in the garden route really really lovely park in general of course it forms part of the Otter walking trails and there are numerous other walks which is absolutely spectacular around this area uh, loads to keep you busy with uh, we're going to focus on the camping as per usual give you a few pointers so there's a few camping areas in this in this camp uh, we'll walk through all of them this is the main road as you come in of course there's a park shop cattle baron restaurant this is january 2023 the restaurant is burned down and the entire old restaurant site is being rebuilt but all the facilities are there uh, temporary facilities has been put up there's a cattle baron restaurant fully operational a park shop fully equipped with everything you need um, and yeah there's just you know everything you need in the park as per usual so if you're coming down that's that's the road you're going to come down with this is the first camping area to your right and that road takes you to the other camping areas as we'll go through them nice thing about this park is the east is that side and west is essentially there where the sun is setting it's now just after five so you can set up your camp to view the ocean and be totally protected from that uh, afternoon sun and you also have obviously stunning views and beautiful sunsets so the very simple thing about this park is just make sure you obviously pitch your camp that it, it faces the ocean and you don't need to worry about anything else um, in terms of you know the sun or the heat or anything um, typical campsites as per usual water points uh, normal copper taps so bring your fittings make sure your hoses are long enough to reach your camper to fill those uh, keep the bins you'll see the bins has got those little spin things in them the reason for that is the baboons open the bins so keep the bins locked um, and then normal electrical three point plug points as we kick off uh, i always point out a few of my favorite sites in, in in every camp this one definitely takes the cake if you've you know can get your van in here and you've got some reversing skills it's site number 58 nice and private probably the most private site in the entire camp this little bri here particularly i wouldn't use uh, the reason being that the road gets quite busy with people coming and going being such a famous park for hiking there is a lot of day visitors so this road can be quite busy uh, i wouldn't want to to bri here what i would recommend is park your van like that have it face you know towards the ocean and make sure you bring yourself a little portable braai or barbecue and you can put it right here and uh, have that view so this is an entirely entirely private site as i said site number 58 and absolutely beautiful so this is my site of choice and then we'll go on and take a walk through the rest of the camp Unfortunately, my gimbal battery has failed me. I need to get that replaced, but I can only do that in Cape Town. So excuse the bumpiness of this video. Normally our videos are much smoother, but this one I have to do by hand given the circumstances. These sites to your left is really small, so I think they're more suitable for tents. Course we'll do a review of the bathrooms and the laundry facilities and I'll show you those and I'll also show you the new temporary facilities at the restaurant and the park shop
Okay, so now we're in one of the uh, camping areas to your left here. Chalet is to your right. You'll see these sites are much more exposed, which is why I said I prefer site number 38, just because of its privacy, because these sites, in peak season, you're gonna have a caravan there, one there, one where that one is, one where this one is, and one where that one is. So you are totally on top of each other. So I would definitely recommend try and find yourself a bit more of a private site, just to give you a bit of privacy. looking for sites close to the ablutions in this section here that's the ablutions so then these sites around this area site number 56 57 anything around the 60s are essentially right opposite the bathrooms of course in terms of chalets and cabins there's chalets forest huts all sorts of accommodation. I'll put the park link in the description of this video and you can have a look at the various types. Talking about water points, this entire section here, this entire camping section is serviced by this one tap. I think there's another one down there. So make sure, this is why I say make sure that your hoses are long enough Otherwise, you're going to be shuffling water back and forth to your camper van. Okay, then we'll do a fast forward walk. It's quite a long walk to the other camping section in this park. So I'll do a fast forward section in this video of that and then take you to the second camping area and then also onto the third tented camping area in this park. Just as a matter of interest, coming back to taps, I mentioned that section there, you only have one tap. This one has another tap here. So this is a nice site. If you want to be close to a tap, any one of these um, should be nice and practical if you have a hose to fill up your van. Okay, so now we're back at site 38, the entrance to this first camping section. <clears throat> site number 38, which is the favorite one I mentioned earlier. I think I forgot to mention the other reason why I prefer site 38 is not only because of the privacy, but it also has its own tap. So you don't need such a massively long hose. If you're gonna park your van down there, this is where the tap is. So it's got its own tap. And yeah, I highly recommend you use that site.
Okay, so this is the second camping section of the park. Campsites in front of us, green roof at the back there, there's bathrooms, kitchen, laundry, all those facilities. As per usual, all the sites have beautiful sunset views. Everyone's paved. Power points for each one. It uses the blue power connectors, which you can buy at the shop if you don't have one. Just show you that. So that's your power connector and you need an adapter to go in there. Just pointing out taps again. There's one tap over there, services these five or six sites. I'll point out the other taps as we go. Ground sheets, I believe, is not allowed because of the lawn. So I can see somebody has pitched a ground sheet here. I'm not entirely sure if that is allowed, but maybe just check that with uh, reservations if you're going to be making a booking. Another tap down here, servicing these sites. So there's a tap in this section here, there's a tap for about every, I'd say every tenth site. So once again you're going to need a fairly long hose to get to your van. That road up there, if you take a left there, that takes you to the park shop, the Storms River Mouth and the restaurant. Okay, so as I mentioned, laundry ablutions all to your left, very neat. Then we cross over a little bridge here. It's quite a narrow bridge and if you've got a big, big caravan, I don't think you're going to be able to get your van across this bridge. So I would assume these sites down here to the right is really aimed at tented camping only. Also be careful if you don't have good reversing skills. You, if you cross over this bridge here, and you have a big caravan you probably will need to do a three or four point turn to get your caravan back out here because there's no, no real space to make a u-turn without the reversing so be very mindful of that make sure your van can cross here and also make sure with the reservations if you can park a caravan here i don't think that would be allowed i wouldn't recommend it unless like i said you can really maneuver your caravan exceptionally well but i'm almost certain that these sites are are aimed only for tent, tented camping forest cabins are up this little road lovely little private forest cabins we're staying in that tonight just because we leave early in the morning and we can't set up camp that early in the morning. Or well, not set up, but pack up. So for the night, we move to a forest cabin. And I'll just do a little review on that also if you are interested in, in booking that. That's it, that's the last tented campsites you see there in the distance. Keep in mind that these sites, those ones there, and these ones here, do not have water points. Not at all. So if you come over that bridge, there's no water point whatsoever. Which is also why I'm saying 
I don't believe these sites are suitable to camper vans. Uh, it would be mostly tented camping or overlanders or something like that. They do, however, from that bridge, these sites here and the ones there do have electricity points, but no water points. So that's it for Storms River campsite review. As per usual, please like, subscribe and follow so we can bring you more reviews as and when we do them. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to make comments and share. And we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have.